Tutorial 81 in assembly. Let's start making an assembly and remind you how to start an assembly. So we go to mechanical design, assembly design, then you are starting new product. And if you choose from file new, you have a choice here for product. So now you have a product one or an assembly and here you see the assembly workbench it has its own tools which we are going to cover in this set of tutorials and you can see here the constraint toolbox and many other assembly toolboxes and for example if you need the constraint toolbox and you don't see it you have to see it on the right side and you have to hover down here to get it and in case you didn't find it well let's close this one right click here and here you find the constraints toolbox and then you find it in the previous tutorial we talked about inserting components and existing component and existing component with positioning that is case you have a part already made in this tutorial we going to cover the product and the part inserting and this is the difference between inserting an existing component that you can start your product first your product tree with all the parts you want and in there you start sketching and modeling your product and in the previous tutorial we talked about some of these icons and today we're going to talk about the insert product and part this might be a little bit confusing because you might ask yourself you have we have a product here so why we need to make another product so to give you an example for this we can call this product is this big properties make the the whole lighter project okay so we have a lighter project and we need the for example insert another assembly in that project which contain its own mechanism and assembly can 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 be the firing mechanism for example we have the whole lighter and it consists from many assemblies for example the firing mechanism the tube and so on so for example we have the lighter you can click insert another product properties we can call this product the firing mechanism and now we can insert in this product its own parts for example here you go to the insert part and as you notice you have part one where you have and it has its own planes as we learned how to use these planes and sketch on it for example we can call this part one for parties the the finger cylinder okay and again in this mechanism we can insert another product or or part and then you can call it the properties the spring okay uh, it has its own geometries planes so for example we have the finger cylinder you can start a sketch on it we can go to the part design as we learned before start a sketch and we can make 
uh, cylinder. Make sure we are activating here. This make pad. Okay. And then when we are done, we can back to the assembly design workbench. So this is an idea how you're going to use the insert product and part from the beginning.